Hi, I'm Rachel Gingell, and this is my dad, Dan. About a year ago, I came over to my parents' house, and this Selecto Speed tractor was sitting in their driveway. I was shocked because you normally don't buy Selecto Speeds. Why'd you buy this one? Well, you know, I like Ford parts, and this one, I bought it from a state not running, and it had lots and lots of really nice parts. The tractor looked to be very, very nice. Okay. And what you have to do to get it running? I know this is a running tractor now. It is a very nice running tractor now. So we put a battery in it. It's a diesel, so we just added fuel, cleaned the fuel filters, and bang, it took off and ran, Rachel. And then the hour meter was working, and it's sporting 1,281, and I believe, original hours. Even the dots on the pedals are all still there. Okay. And this tractor runs excellent, so then we kind of fell in love with it. Okay. So typically, we would recommend that people don't buy yes, a Selecto Speed Transmission. Right. Why is that? Because the Selecto, we can't get parts. We can't help you much with servo valves and things anymore. Um, parts for the transmission, you mean, The right? transmission. Okay. We can't get you parts. So we can't service the trans for you. And we don't have the tools anymore to work on the hydro, I mean, hydrostat. So okay. we do not have tools for it. So and typically, if they're going bad, what faults do they have? Uh, no, that is a good question. The dangerous part with this tractor is you'll put it in park and it'll keep on moving. Uh, how dangerous is that in the garage to have your tractor keep on going or near the barn? Uh, it can't stop. The other thing is the PTO. It just turns on and off like this. They will not stop. So you're running a shredder or a tiller. You can't stop the wow. PTO. Very dangerous. So typically we say stay away from these tractors because they're dangerous. This one we bought for parts because you can see the hydraulic pump is new. Um, the tires, it's getting to power be steering. power steering. The power steering on this tractor works like better than any Ford I've ever driven. So right now we are using it to till. Everything works on the tractor, but you know that I have a five-speed Ford yeah. with a bad engine that someday probably will I get dropped in here. <laughs> so can you stand up and show yes. the seat? This has a really nice seat on it. The old one series could have had this optional seat, deluxe seat. Even the fabric is in great shape on this tractor. Like I said, when I seen this tractor, I could tell that it did not have many hours on it. Yeah. So typically we'll tell people to stay away from a Selecto Speed. The joke is if you have a Selecto Speed, you'll be saying SOS because you're gonna be needing help. But one thing to note on the hood here, notice how it says 801. You might say, wait, Rachel, I have an 801. Do I? No, you probably have a gear shift 801 Eight, right. with a five-speed transmission. And, and, and four speed. Or four speed, that's right. And if that's the case, you have a great transmission. They're extremely durable, tested and proven. Those are a one, that's a great choice of tractor. Yes. But if you see this 801 and it says Selecto Speed after it, or if you have a specific model number of 871 or 881, that means it has that Selecto Speed. Yep, them are the two Selecto Speed models. And they also carried this Selecto up into the 3000 Ford, the 4000 Ford, same problems. So they did not correct the problems even on the later Selecto. So we typically tell our customers, unless you're just looking for parts, stay away from that. Okay.